Life before Jesus for me was um, a mess. I literally was living in darkness and um, consumed by depression and addiction and I literally would be mad in the morning for God waking me up. I mean, I just, I couldn't go on anymore. I was on my knees and I was crying out to God, finally just saying, why, why? Why, you know, why have all these horrible things happened to me? You know, being a victim of abuse and from childhood to adulthood, um, a survivor of suicide. And the Holy Spirit, like I said, just came upon me and, and spoke an audible voice. And I, I know I when I share my testimony, and I tell people that I'm like, they can call me crazy all they want, but it was an audible voice that I heard. And I know God puts people and places in my life and people after that, a woman came up to me and she prayed for me and just a whole bunch of people just kind of comforted me and I know if that hadn't happened I probably would have went home and tried to OD again. I know that Jesus saved me. He's my savior. So um, when I disclosed all my sin to Jesus, um, it was amazing. It was freeing. It was like such a relief that I was searching for so long. Like I struggled to try to hold on for to this world and I held on to those sins and it's like I knew in my heart that he already knew my sins but I couldn't forgive myself more or less how was I gonna let God forgive me they see it as a sign of weakness and I tell them that's the strongest thing I've ever done you know was finally surrender to God and you know let him forgive me of my sins um, how I see God transforming my life today is on a daily basis and it's I I just have this joy that I didn't have before, you know, because I was always so consumed by my problems and my worries and my guilt and my shame. And now I have that joy in the morning, even when I go through my struggles and I mean, and the problems that come with this world that we're all gonna still struggle with. Because I always said, I don't do religion. I do a personal relationship with Jesus. And the reason why I don't do religion is because I'm not about the rules and I just feel like people are so judging about, you know, my visible appearance and it's really important to be inviters um, to New Hope and to just spread the good news of Jesus and knowing that everybody is welcome, that he came for us all. I don't just go by saving grace, I go by daily grace now and his plan is better than my plan could ever be.